Sorry for those technical difficulties. One of the images often seen at rallies on May Day is that of a woman, Marcina, a labor activist who was found brutally murdered in May 1993. Marcina has become a symbol of workers' struggle in the country. Marcina was born in the small village of Unglundo in East Java's Ngajuk district on April 10, 1969. By 1993, Marcina was working at a clock and watch assembly plant in Sirawajo run by Pete Chaturputra Surya, where she was a labor activist. In the previous year, the East Java governor had issued a regulation requiring companies to raise wages by 20% in line with the rising cost of living. Pete Chaturputra Surya, however, did not comply, and in 1993, Marcina was one of the more prominent figures pushing the company to raise wages. As Chato continued to ignore the workers' demands, Marcina and other activists at the plant organized a strike on May 3rd and 4th of 1993. They demanded the company raise their daily wages from 1,700 rupiah to 2,250. Marcina was one of the 15 workers negotiating with the company. On May 5th, 13 of those worker representatives were taken by soldiers to the Sidawajo District Military Command, where they were forced to resign from the plant. They were additionally accused of holding secret meetings and preventing employees from working. Masina went to the military command to inquire about the fate of her colleagues. She went missing later that same day. Her mutilated body, which bore signs of serious torture, was found three days later in a wooded area near Wilangan village. Police investigating her death immediately detained eight company executives and accused them of plotting to murder her. They were eventually given prison sentences ranging from four to 17 years. Their trial was widely seen as a farce and the Supreme Court later acquitted all eight executives. Marcina's case has been highlighted by the International Labour Organization and she was posthumously given the Yap Tiam Hien Award, named after an Indonesian human rights lawyer and given to people who have contributed to rights issues in Indonesia. Her killers, however, were never arrested.